Donovan, congratulations. Two stats for you. American record, obviously, largest winning margin in world championship history. Tell us about the race. Press the, you can hear me now? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, to get the win means a lot to me. Um, this year, I've just kind of put all my trust in coaching and um, Pete Julian, and I've just been listening to him all year. And he told me for this race, Vasquez was going to take it out hot, and I had to commit early and just stick on him. And when I made my move, I had to make it. And, um, you know, I know he's going to take full responsibility whether I finish strong or I die the last 100. So um, to see it, it pay off just, you know, meant a lot to me. And to have a time and to break a record just means the world to me. Thank you. Congratulations, Donovan. Um, we met at the airport. We did the interview for the IWF feature, and we spoke about the perfect race. Um, was this the perfect race for you? Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what else more I could have done um, technically better. Uh, you know, Wesley took it out at a really fast time. I know the race wouldn't have been as fast if it, if it wasn't for him. And, um, you know, once he, he let up a little bit with 300 meters to go, I just made a move, and there was no looking back from there. The German here in the front. Lincoln Trike, flowtrack.com. Donovan, does it bother you at all that some people will question the validity of this due to your association with the Nike Oregon project? Um, I think it'd be really ignorant to, to, to associate with me with that. Uh, I think the investigation started when I was in high school. You know, I didn't even know what Oregon project was at the time. You know, I'm a very ignorant runner when it comes to my, my past, when it comes to, to runners and just the history and running. So. Um, to even think that I'd be affiliated with that is, I think, pretty, pretty ignorant. Another question? Larry? Amel, congratulations on your race. Can you tell us how you felt during the race? You've been looking great the last few weeks. Thank you very much. Yeah, I felt really good and uh, amazing all this all this season. Uh, finally, after some problems that I, I had on my body and the little injuries, uh, I, I come back this this season. I train very hard and uh, I'm very happy for. I was first very happy for the final, uh, and especially now after the the my my silver medal, it's uh, also the highest. Uh, uh, medal in, in history of, of my country, so I'm very proud of that and uh, so happy. And uh, because I, we train together, uh, me and coach, we, we really train hard all the season and uh, also very, very careful and everything. And uh, I know and we know all, uh, together that uh, also next season will be more and more better because this was only one, one step to, to come back and next to now we have uh, also the better motivation for the next season to 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 run to run better okay, thanks the gentleman there with the orange uh, shirt another question to amel um you're much faster this sorry, year sorry could you please uh, state your name oh and sorry uh, Stephen mills Thank through you. athletics uh, question to Amil. Uh, you're much faster this year, over 400 meters. Has that speed helped you in the 800 meters this year? Uh, yes, for sure. Uh, I'm that kind of athlete that uh, likes uh, 400 and 800, and uh, I, I don't like to run over that 800 meters. So, <laughs> I'm for me. I said always, uh, 800 is enough for me. Even I never run also 1,000 on the race, so uh, yes, the speedy helps me a lot, and uh, I like to also on the training to do speedy training. I enjoy really of that to run uh, training like 100, 200, 300, and something like that to push to 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 feel the, the that lactate training in my legs. That's give me even I'm I'm tired on the end, but I feel uh, I feel uh, strong after after one week, maybe 10 days. And uh, yes, I like I like speed. A gentleman in the second row. Uh, Noel Francis, track alert. This question is for Ferguson. Uh, looking back at the race now, was there is there anything you think you could have done different uh, to change like the outcome? 
Anything you think you could have done different in the race in terms of your strategy? Uh, today's race was uh, good for me, and uh, my strategy was to uh, to follow, uh, to be in position uh, maybe three or four. But uh, unfortunately, after after I started the uh, uh, first 100 meters, I felt uh, pain in my leg, and uh, I just uh, slow down, and then after the first lap, uh, I was now getting better, so I had to push because uh, my colleagues was away, so I had to push to finish in the podium. Me? A question to the okay. gentleman there. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Rob Woolard from Agence France Press. Donovan, a question for you. Um, I'm sorry to labour the point, but I, I think, like everybody in this room, we just want to be absolutely clear what the facts are. Could you tell us when you started training with the Oregon Group? And uh, as a supplementary question, were you aware of the investigation? Were you aware that the group was being investigated by USADA when you joined the group? Um, yeah, I joined the group. Um, I checked out the group uh, after... I was injured for the full year of 2018. I checked out the group, I think, in the early summertime of 2018. And, um, you know, from, from the start, I was always in contact with uh, Pete Julian um, from my coach for Oregon Project. I was, never, uh, I was never asked to be coached by Alberto the entire time I was supposed to be coached by Pete Julian. And, uh, no, I didn't know there was an investigation going on. Um, I didn't even know when the investigation started, I didn't even know what Oregon Project was, you know, because I was, you know, a junior in high school. When the investigation started, and I really, to be totally honest, don't know 100% what was is even going on. I just woke up to a text this morning about um, Alberto, the founder of Oregon Project, uh, with a four-year ban, and what that means for Oregon Project. I don't know, but I know at the end of the day, I'm still going to have uh, my coach Pete Julian. So, yeah. Uh, was it a shock this morning? Oh, sorry. Was it, a sh was it a shock this morning? I mean, I mean. Sorry, but no follow-up questions because there are the media who wait to ask. You'll take the opportunity again. Yeah. Thank you. So, Robin Grammel, AFP. Was it a shock, shock this morning? And what kind of coach is Alberto Salazar? And will you stop train with him now that he's suspended? What are you going to do? Um, like I just said, I'm not coached by Alberto. Um, I'm coached by Pete Julian. Uh, I woke up to. Uh, to, I think like an ESPN alert, I think of all things, which is disappointing. That's the most um, coverage we get in track and field is when it's bad things like that. But I woke up to, a, to an alert that he was suspended, and uh, I've never been coached by him. Uh, but at the end of the day, like you said, he is the founder of Oregon Project, but I've never been under the direct coaching of Alberto. You know, I cross his path when I'm out in Oregon, and I am part of his group, but at the end of the day, I am a Pete Julian athlete along with um, uh, Craig Ingalls, Coco, um, Jessica Hall, Craig Ingalls, and Eric Jenkins, Shannon Robey, and uh, Suguru. So, um, yeah. Okay, one last question. Larry. Donovan, um, the early pace was probably the fastest I've seen you go out in a long, long time. Did that 48-6 scare you at all? Thank you for asking about the race. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was really nerve-wracking. Nerve I've only actually gone through um, fast, I've only broken 50 one time before um, coming through in a 400, and that was at the Melrose Games early this year, and I locked up like crazy, and Saruni just blew by me. So um, just having that in the back of the mind, knowing that I have the heart and lungs better, and I've been just training, and um, things have been going well for me, I knew I had the confidence to go through that fast, and uh, to finally have a race where everything worked out strategically, and I made a move, and I held off, um, to see it all come together at a perfect timing in such a late world championships like this one is, is uh, just very rewarding. One last question to the gentleman here in the front. Hi, uh, Jonathan Galt here from Let's Run .com. Uh Sorry, Donovan, one more question about Alberto. He was charged by USADA with some anti-doping violations in June 2017, which is before you joined the group. I'm wondering, were you aware, when did you become aware that Alberto had been charged by USADA with these anti-doping violations, and how did you find out? Um, I think I found out like everybody else, you know, I just uh, heard about the news this morning that he's been charged. I didn't even know there was an investigation going on, and um, yeah, I don't really know much about it. I've, I've, I've come in contact with Alberto to say I don't have never talked to Alberto, it would be a complete lie. Um, but our training groups have really never crossed paths. We do a lot of camps, and it's usually, you know, Pete's camps and Alberto's camps, and it's uh, pretty well separated, so I was kind of away from all that stuff from the start. 
So, gentlemen, thank you very much. One last question to the lady here in the front. Um, to Donovan, two questions. One is, the, um, what's the hardest training you had before this race? And tell me about the peak. What's the great things about the peak? About Pete? Um, yeah, I mean, Pete and I always butt heads a lot. And, you know, sometimes I really question his, his workouts. But I've just always listened to him this year. And that's the thing that I told him. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show him. When I run bad, he's going to know that his workouts aren't working. But I've been running good all year. And things have been working out great. So um, I've just, you know, put my full trust in Pete. And um, he's had great success with all of his athletes this year. And um, just to know that we've all kind of been doing well, it just kind of we feed off of that. And we really enjoy seeing each other's accomplishments and success. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude our press conference. Thank you very much.